What's going on everyone? Salinas Sion Cam Mods here. And for this video, we're gonna be taking off this bumper, which is a bumper from my 92 F250. And the reason for that is because we're gonna be doing a 2020 F250 bumper conversion, which is over here. I already got that all stripped down, pulled off all the plastics right here. No need plastics. And these are for the fogs. And for the fog lights, I'm gonna be going with some aftermarket led which it's gonna be like a strip led strip on there and in order to get this bumper installed you're gonna need a, a bumper bracket which is a conversion bracket and i got these measurements right here those two over there same thing for that side and i sent those measurements those dimensions to my boy miguel cardenas he's out there in san marcos he does welding and uh, he said he could go ahead and get those brackets done for me that's how I want them. So we're gonna send them over those measurements so we get that bracket. And for right now, I got these two jack stands right there set up because I was under there and I didn't want that. I didn't want that bumper to follow me when I was under there uh, taking off those those nuts right there. So what you want to do? Get under here, pull down this plastic. It's gonna be tucked in like that in there. So you just put it down. More access to those those nuts. That That's what she said. <laughs> So now let's take this bumper off so we can mock up and get the measurements of the frame frame square tubing and the measurements of where this mounts up to which is right there that little bracket right there i don't know if you guys can see that all right guys so update on this bumper conversion we got the template right there As you can see we cut out the frame hole and this hole is going to be vertical disregard the horizontal cut and for this one this one and this one are these right here these holes right there but first of all we got to take off this plastic piece right here and trim some of the metal behind there so i'm going to take it off with this plastic tab remover which is for those tabs right there so let's get that done get that removed in order to do that put that in there like so and then just squeeze that shit like that guys so i put that bumper up seen behind and seen checking it out to see what was hitting and as you guys can see it was hitting this plastic piece right here however it was i cut it off with these metal cutters this is sheet metal cutters and it's also hitting this piece up here this little lip all of that so i'm going to cut it the most that i can and then from there just gonna grind down the rest so it could be real smooth and flush like a factory look i guess but uh that's what we're gonna what we're gonna go ahead and do and it's also rubbing slightly right here so i might have to cut a little piece of this edge like right there and for the other side i'm gonna have to cut this piece right here a little bit of there and this same piece from there so let's go ahead and get to it So I got this piece all cut up so that the bumper could clear. Now all I have to do is grind this off, grind this down so there won't be any sharp metal and it'll look pretty flush. It'll look factory, I guess. And this piece, I might have to cut it right now too. So we're gonna go ahead and do the other side. And from there, once we get the other side done, we're gonna mock this bumper back up. So 
now that I got both sides cut up on those pieces that we're hitting, we're gonna go ahead and mock this bumper back up, see what it looks like, see if it clears now. got the extension cord now we're gonna go ahead and clean up this type of this ugliness right here get it all nice and clean with the grinder the grinding wheel and the same thing for this side over here we might have to cut some more right here but if anything we'll get that cleaned up smooth out these cuts and everything so let's go ahead and get that done all right so we're almost getting there as you can see right here it's hitting Here's a bumper it's sitting on this bracket right here and this bracket supports the fog light and we are going to be running some fog lights so we need this bracket so what we're going to do is trim trim some of this bracket right there the same for the other side and up here it's hitting slightly right there so we gotta grind that down some more and clean all that up here this is a cardboard template i made it's pretty spot on might have to shift these openings slightly to the right so it's be centered right there because they're over here and the width from here to there center center is nine and a quarter of an inch so as you can see back here the template let's see i can put my hand back there the template has to be shifted over slightly to the right too so we basically got it and here the holes are going to be vertical and we're going to put a bolt right there to hold this bracket down that my boy miguel is going to make and then from here it's going to bolt on to these four and the guy who actually did this i'll post him up blowing diesel and he actually cut this piece right here i'm not sure if i want to cut it because i don't have the, the torch to cut it or the right tools to cut it so i might leave it like that for a while i'm trying to look for these plastics to cover up this front or i'm not sure if i want to run the tow hooks i would like to but i would have to find a set of tow hooks and then i would have to get another a bracket mounted on the back of this to run those tow hooks but that's for later let's go ahead and trim up these these things that need to be trimmed and we'll mock it up again satisfied with these gaps that we got i'm using a sharpie marker lid to gap this side the same thing for the other side with the sharpie i like that gap right there there you guys have it that looks real good right here see this same this gapping right here it's the same over here so this is a template that i have and i pretty much marked it spot on so i'll go ahead and do this template again so that it won't be so hard on me again once he's trying to get the the right dimensions so let me go ahead and take this all back off mark those holes make another template so we can send that out so that he can get us quarter inch plate brackets we'll see 
quarter inch or three eighths. There you guys have it. 2020 bumper conversion on a 1992 F-250. Y'all yeah, stay tuned for next video. We're gonna be installing these fog lights, aftermarket fog lights, but they fit right on this bumper. They look real good. So we're gonna be wiring those up myself. So there you guys have it. If you guys like the content, if you guys like this video, feel free to drop a like, comment if you guys have any questions and subscribe if you wanna see more like it. Yeah. Yeah.